Fish on me. I snuck. Just smoked it. All right, let's keep him out of the trees here. Ooh, he's pulling me quick. Go, oh boy. Stay out of there. Oh, he went under the board. That ain't good. That ain't good. He's under the board. He's under the board. He's right there. That's a nice fish. He's up in the trees, though. Pull him gently. Yep, yep, yep. Oh! Nice fish. Nice fish. Stay out of there. Stay out of there. Oh. That is tough one-handed. Good morning, guys. That's a nice fish. That's probably 26 inch or just came up in a big head wake right behind the mullet. Smoked it. That is a big fish, actually. Oh, that is always an adrenaline rush when fish are pulling you around on the paddle board. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. There we go. Beauty. First fish of the day this morning. Beautiful snook. Whew. Looks like he's probably like a nice fat 27, 28 maybe on the mini mullet there. Pulled that out because I was seeing an absolute ton of finger mullet around. But hey, good morning. We're getting us started with a fish. Getting started with the fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is that mini mullet. And hell yeah, butter, just the basic color. Basic color there. I saw that big head weight come and I was like, oh, this is gonna be a redfish or a snook. It just kept working it and popped it right behind the bait. Beautiful. All right, come on, buddy. Yep, you're good, you're good. There she goes. All right, getting us started today. A little bite on the mini mullet. Figured we'd pull these out. Haven't thrown them in a while. One of the most fun baits I throw, um, or one of my favorite baits, I should say. Um, just getting us started there real quick. Just hopping right into it. 30 pound mono leader, throwing it on a medium setup and we're on the paddle board today. So how about that? How about that? I gotta retie this leader and I think we'll get back to fishing, but we're just hopping straight into it today. We're gonna catch some fish. I saw something pretty big wake up under this tree about a minute ago. Thinking it could have been a snook, but not sure. I tighten up a little bit. Yeah, something just took off. So I feel like the last time I was out fishing on the paddle board, maybe it was a, a few times ago, I got dusted by the snook. And I'm looking for revenge today. I'm looking for some snook 
Well, I got uh, the mini mullet tied up on this rod right here, this 2500 battle, and then back here on this rod I have the Amazon shrimp from last video tied up in case I maybe see some redfish or black drum or something that's just maybe not into the mini mullet, but beautiful day, beautiful weather. Hopefully we're gonna knock out some fish. I mean, that snook right off the bat there was pretty solid, but we're gonna keep working here, see what we can find. There we go, big snook. No, don't do it to me. Open up the bale, open up the bale. We're gonna go chase this fish. We're gonna get this fish. I'm gonna drop the anchor. Freaking huge snook just came up and inhaled the mini mullet. Huge, came up out of there so far. Wasn't really in a good spot to fight him though. I was drifting towards the tree, so I dropped the anchor and hopped in real quick, and this is how we're gonna do this. Just gonna take the pressure off him here. He's around a million barnacles here, a million. So lots of things can happen. He's just sitting under the tree. Ah, it broke me. Ah, that's all it takes. That's all it takes, just a little bump in these barnacles and he got me. <sighs> Almost had that. Almost had that, just needed to open the bale one more time. That's really frustrating, really frustrating. It's probably a little bit bigger than the one I got earlier. Probably about 30 inches. Ah, all right, we'll retie, it happens. There's a crazy blow up back in this pond. Think about hopping up in there and making a cast. I actually heard two big blow ups. Yeah, there's stuff blowing up back there. Let's see what's back here. Any redfish? Big red right in front of me. Look at that. Got him! Got him! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Swam out right in front of me! Exactly what I was thinking, in literal mud. This fish is in literal mud. Oh my gosh! I cannot believe that. I literally looked down right there, freaking, it looked like a big goldfish just cruising by. Drifted in front of it, the little mullet just twitch, 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 and he inhaled it. Let's see if I can kind of get down there, it's super muddy. Ooh, I don't know about that. Oh, I think I'm good right here. Oh, just got up out of here because I heard a couple blow-ups out in the, uh, on this pond here. There's some ducks too, and a redfish. Oh, that was sick. That was sick. It's a big red, too. He's like a 25 incher. Oh my gosh. Come here, bud. Just smoked the little mullet. Just looked up at it and just inhaled it. Probably had no, not a clue. Not a clue. Oh, no! Oh, he's right there. Oh! I lost him right there and I reached down to try to grab his tail. <laughs> I'm in the mud so bad right here. Get me out of here. Ugh. This went down knee deep. Oh, I lost him right there. That was a really hard area to land a fish. Literally went down knee deep right there. Fish ate right there as well. I can't believe that. Let me get back up here. Maybe there's another fish lurking back there. Oh, <sighs> paddleboard's still there, yeah. Oh, I can't believe I lost him literally right there. It had to be just because I took pressure off because I was trying to land him. I can't believe that fish just came cruising right out in front of me. All right, guys. Well, I'm hopping back on the board here. That was pretty interesting right there. 
big redfish in a little mud pond. I, so unfortunate that he slipped off right there at the end, but to be honest, it would have been hard to land him. Um, I just wanted to mention real quick this Friday, um, March 31st, NLBN's doing a limited batch drop, new hot pink color um, on a bunch of different baits. You guys got to check it out, nlbn.com. Figured I'd mention that, but it's getting, uh, what time is it now? It's 10 o'clock actually, so I'm going to keep rocking the uh, Hell Yeah Butter uh, Mini Mullet. It's getting eats. It is getting eats. Um, and I'm just going to keep on going, keep on going. I'm see if I can make it back into one of these, uh, like a little pond or creek or something, because the fish are living in there today. They're definitely, definitely in there. So let's, uh, let's hop back up here and keep on running and see what we can find. Pull them out of there. Fish was sitting right in the mouth of that creek. Little snook. Little snook, but he just smoked it there like the second it hit the water. Little guy. Maybe about an 18 incher. Oh, actually, maybe not even that. He's pretty small. He smoked it. I wasn't quite sure if that was going to be a red or a snook or. Little, little guy. Pretty snook. Pretty. Snook definitely like white. They definitely like these white baits. Alright, but I'll send you back. Actually, I'll send you back towards the way you came from. Yeah, there you go. Yep, right back up. Wow, he went like a beeline straight back up into the mouth right there where he was. Got him right there under that overhanging tree there, so. Let's see, this is another little spot here. Definitely can be some alligators around here, so I gotta be careful, but a redfish would be sick. Oh, there might have been another fish right there. There's a big mullet right there. Let's see. If that snook was sitting right there, there could be some bigger snook in the same area, but I think I might have spooked him as I came up here. Make a couple casts and then move on. Big snook right here, big snook, or red. I don't know what that is, big fish though. Following it, following it. Yep, big snook. Huge snook. Oh, he's under the under the boat. Big snook. Put the anchor in. Come on, come on. Keep his head up. That's a big one. Smoked it. Smoked it. Oh. Oh. Big snook, big snook, big snook. Mm. Oh, body that one. Had the anchor to help me there. Looks like this one's about a 32. Let me go quick. Quick, quick, quick. I lost it. Lost the mini mullet. Anchor definitely helped right there. Just got to be super quick with it. Was able to keep me from drifting into the tree. <laughs> oh my god, that snook slammed that. Absolutely slammed that. Probably three casts. Three casts it took right there to get it to see it. Oh, how about that? That is like a 32 probably. Super, super fat 32. I mean, beautiful fish. Oh, ho, ho, ho. beauty. I lost my mini mullet there, but we still still got the hook. We got the fish. I'm going to be real quick here, spin this fish around, and just get it back. That was a fight. And look at the shoulders on that. Oh, there we go. I could see him coming across right in this. Uh, it gets real shallow right here. Maybe hard to tell in the camera, but... 
see that fish sticking out like a sore thumb just twitched in front of it, it took three casts to kind of get him to see it but pulling it over its head that's what got the bite just just twitching it twitching it twitching it and uh we got it done a little frayed there for sure for sure a little frayed i switched to 40 but check that out it got it done i'll go ahead and retie here throw on another mini but they're chewing that was that was a big fish for the mini Whew. I love it. That's a ride. Or a snow. Oh, I just got smoked. Out in the open. Nice snook. I'm gonna try to... Drop the anchor again. Stop me. Stop, stop, stop. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stopped in just enough time when I dropped the anchor down. Literally, like, a foot before this tree. That just shows, like, how easy it can be sometimes to, to uh, lose fish on a paddleboard because you're just getting thrown around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. About jumped on the boat. You know, up here, buddy. Keep you glued, keep you glued. There's another one, just smoked it out in the open. I was just blind casting and reeling it in quick and smoked it. Probably like a, um, maybe a 22, 23. Not a bad one. He had me uh, spinning around right there. The wind was pushing me and I was headed up into this big uh, stick here and I dropped the anchor and was able to save it. But put this guy back. You can go, buddy. You're all good. Yeah, there he goes. All right, all right, all right. I don't know what that is. Like my third snook, maybe? Fourth snook? I, I can't remember. I'm kind of... Oh, something just spooked up in there. Maybe another snook or the same snook. I don't know. I lift up the anchor here. What have I got? Three snook and a... I haven't caught a red fish today. Only snook. I keep thinking I caught a red because I sight fished that one, but I lost it when I was grabbing them. Oh, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right, since the wind's gonna pick up, and I'm gonna take a break right here for a second, I'm gonna eat some. It's crazy how quick the wind can switch up on you. I mean, it's glass, and then it's like just a switch, like just the wall, a wall comes in, and boom, it's windy. But uh, I'm gonna take a break right now, eat something for lunch. Got some PB and J, um, and yeah, we've done pretty decent so far. I'm gonna start working my way back towards the uh ramp right now and hopefully pull another fish but it's not a whole lot you can do when the wind picks up and you're on this paddle board you kind of get thrown around quite a bit pretty solid well one thing that always amazes me is how fast it can go from like perfect calm day to white capping and look at this i'm like surfing in just a minute literally just a minute now a lot of action today but i gotta start heading back because this wind is crazy look at that Woo! oh all right guys well another day on the water we are uh we're done um weather picked up real quick it didn't really it wasn't raining or no storms or anything but when the wind picks up man and you're on a paddleboard you got to play it smart and head on home and that's exactly what I did uh, didn't really find any fish on the way back to the uh, to the car but um, yeah we had a decent day um, three four or I don't even know how many snook we had four snook and I want to say I caught a redfish but that redfish slipped through my fingers at literally the last second and that was kind of a unique fish I really wish I had that one and I wish that snook that I lost I would have played it so much differently had I known that fish was gonna you know do what it did and um, it was a solid day all around 
thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to try uh, the mini mullet, which I used today, that was uh, the color was Hell Yeah Butter, just uh, one of their basic colors. You guys can uh, try them out on NLBN's website, nlbn.com. And uh, check out that limited batch drop this Friday, March 31st um, at 8 p.m. They're dropping a hot pink color. And yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in that next video.